What's up guys? Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I did run the track last Sunday and before that I did a complete rebuild on the x-ray and I rebuilt the sharks. Uh, I had these MIP valves in here and now I'm running the x-ray valves and I also did not put my shark boots on again because there was a lot of dirt in them and this way I can clean it much easier and on an Astro Turf track there is not much sand blasting at all so I think that will be good uh, on the Mugen I'm gonna try these shock covers and we'll see how it holds up because I did a rebuild on these shocks too so yeah no shock boots anymore and I think it looks really awesome so yeah running the x-ray valves um, in the back the 1.4 and in the front the 1.3 and I think these are way smoother than the MIP valves because these are the MIP ones with a round valve and these are the x-ray valves and I absolutely like them I think they are much smoother than the MIP valves so really good and I also changed my servo running the Futaba on here and yeah it is really expensive but it is really 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 good so I'm thinking about buying some more I'm running the Savox now in the Mugen but yeah this servo is an animal strong fast uh, maybe this maybe this could be the best servo of or one of the best servos out there absolutely love it uh, I got a low profile head for my FX engine and I think that looks really awesome too really nice uh, I'm gonna do a rebuild on the engine as well so got a double sealed front bearing uh, ceramic bearing and the con rod so rebuilding this one as well and yeah last Sunday on the track I started out with the mini spikes in the morning and then in the afternoon there was a lot of grip so I mounted the mini pins and I also rebuilt the D-Shocks and yeah when there's so much grip these tires are really good and it went really well and I was actually sad that the day was coming to an end because yeah when it goes that well 
you're having a blast and that is very addictive so yeah really good guys just glued some new mini pins so yeah shaved off two rows in the outer back and one row on the inside and the front tires two rows on the inside and three on the outside and then put some glue on them so it's really smooth and you don't get any traction rolls I did the same to these you can still see the glue a bit so yeah glued some new tires because these are pretty much done but yeah you know the deal when there's still knobbies on them don't throw it away and probably in the summer when it's warmer I can still run these so not throwing anything away very quickly so yeah uh, I also bought another kit because I'm planning to run two classes this year the Nitro Buggy Cup and I wanted to run another class so I bought a kit and let me show you <laughs> I'm gonna hit the 110 scale track at the club and they actually have races with the fighter buggy and you can't change anything about it uh, the only thing I did change during the build because I built it already was some bearings because you get these plastic rings with it so I bought some bearings and there was actually oiled filled shocks bonus parts people so torque tuned motor so yeah running the 110 scale track and yeah like I said I built it already and that was pretty fun too for 85 85 bucks it was a really fun build so here is my new kit people I think it looks really cool a bit of a vintage buggy I got the original tires on here now but I did get some other tires uh, the Schumacher mini darts and I wanted to try these ones uh, Louis E on it like these rims too and I'm running this 7500 milliamp high voltage 2S LiPo and yeah we'll see I'm gonna do some practice at the 110 scale track and just sign up for the races and have fun I was actually planning on a race kit in 110 scale but I thought I'm not gonna invest that much money in it because yeah it is electric and I did not run the e-word really often 
So I'm gonna do a rebuild on these as well. So yeah, we'll see where this ends up. Looks pretty cool though. So yeah, really happy with the X-ray sharks. And yeah, really happy with the X-ray in its entirety. So yeah, I can't wait for another high grip track day. Hopefully soon, it's raining now, so... Really awesome guys. Really awesome. So yeah. I think that's it for today guys. And I will see you next time.